Hello, welcome to another episode of Santa Saves Christmas. And most importantly, Merry Christmas, because Christmas is for me here in New Zealand tomorrow. And I am ecstatic, and so Christmas is only two days away for you guys, so it's Christmas Eve Eve when this came out for everyone else, and Christmas Eve for me. So, enjoy! I'll just put it on speed, have a little bit of selling montage. Will he be able to sell his two great sculptures before her one bad artwork? Okay, what just sold? Yes, one of his sculptures sold. 90 bucks we got for that sculpture. That was really good. Is that all that costs? We could buy all of these and then do a markup. I'm just saying. Or is that cheating? Nah, it's not, it's not cheating to go and buy something cheap and then sell it overpriced. Hey, buy this little guy. Buy our large lumberjack sculpture. You can't make it, but I can. Oh, it really is a competition. Who's gonna sell this? Suzanne, I'm rooting for you. Yes. Please, sir. Uh, nope. Come on, I know you're loaded. Come here and do this. No, you don't want to buy a stupid lamp. Come over here to our sculpture and artwork. Yes, sir. Uh, John Humphrey? Uh, sorry, Jonah Humphrey? Buy it. Buy our lumberjack sculpture. Fine. What if we... Oh, whoops, I accidentally made that a street sale. What if we mark up our prices by zero? Yes, please, Dennis, come. Oh, yeah. Bought her a picture for $205. Come on, buy it, buy it. Nope. Penny, you legend, buy our sculpture. She's really thinking about it. Can we convince her to buy it? I don't want to distract her. Is she wanting attention? Penny, buy our sculpture. Look at that lumberjack sculpture. It's awesome. It'd look great in your apartment. Penny, oh, Penny, Jonah is right behind you and he's already come and looked at our stool. Now Dennis has come over. Dennis just spent $205, so he's throwing money around. Oh, please. Yousef, come over here. Someone bought it. I think it was Penny. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see who bought it. Oh, was it Yousef? He just walked right over. Stole it from everyone else. All right, let's head home because, oh, guys, we got to build some more. We just sold everything here at this yard sale. All right, do continue that cheer and I want you to just keep having fun so you can actually paint some pictures. $319 ain't bad. Now, of course, we are not focused on a house, but if I really enjoy this Let's Play and these characters, I'm actually going to continue to work on them every, every year. Could you craft another sculpture? Oh, no, what am I wanting here? My furniture. Craft another dining chair. It would look great with our table. And could you come and do a large impressionism painting please her fun's up he is well he's not miserable he's just super bored and he really, really needs a shower but he can do all that after he's finished this chair off okay the painting looks awesome yeah you should probably take a shower after that i still want to open the store tonight should we do like a late night late night sunday i mean who's in the better mood out of these two Oh, they're both miserable. It would be so bad to open the shop, but I think we should do it. I think we should travel to that location. Uh, what do I want you to do? I want you to continue your painting skill. Please tell me our inventory is a joint. Yes. Check out these chair and tables. Boy, you did good. All right, set for sale. We want to open the store and play some games for a while. Or we wait for people to come to our open store. Hello, Zest. Great customer. Great customer. Oh, I'm glad she's really amping up to buy our tables and chairs. Um, answer her questions. Johnny just does not seem as interested as her. Look at how keen this kid is for some tables and chairs. Oh, it's getting really dark. Oh, I don't have any lights on my property. Um, answer his questions. Continue to buy this Billy kid some attention. Are you, uh, your paparazzi? Yeah, they are here for my shop. How nice. We're so close to getting Billy to buy it. Fingers crossed she's after the table. I mean, I'm not sure why it was such an emergency to open the shop. Can you not, Mortimer? I'm trying to work the shop. We did make $200 today. Ask about school. I don't know why. So how's school Greg Billy? Making a lot of money? Able to buy tables and chairs, huh? Discuss shopping preferences with her. Answer his questions. Enthuse about the store. Oh, she's ready to buy. Could you please ring her up so she can buy a chair? Alright, what's she gonna buy and how much are we gonna make from it? 225 bucks! Um, and those about the store with him. Isn't the store just fabulous? Oh, a teenager. Oh, you guys are really generous. See? Oh, on the uh, good list. Now we're gonna focus primarily on Zest here. Hi, welcome to my shop. 
Thanks for being out here at about midnight. He does not enjoy running a shop by the way guys. Oh and eventually, not obviously this year, but eventually he'll of course run like a giant North Pole toy store. So he'll be super powerful. And that's questions. Oh yes. Ring up him. He'll be buying our other chair because they always go cheapest first. What? Purchased. Oh, it got moved into my family inventory. Fair enough. Oh, what? My store closes. I ran out of items. I made $1,200. But why do I still have two chairs here? Remove sign. Can you open? <laughs> oh, why am I doing this to him? I should really send him home, shouldn't I? A loiterer. Does that mean she plans on buying something? Oh, paparazzi. Can I actually retail with him? If I can't retail with him, there is no point running a store with celebrities. You know what? We're closing up. We're going home. And she has peed herself for the second time. Oh, girl. Life is not going your way. Oh, well. No harm. No foul there. Could you take a shower, please? It's really not that hard. You can sleep and you might as well come out and you are not tired at all, which is great because that means you can sell this to a Whoa, hang on. Is it finished? Oh, of course it's finished. You can sell it to a collector, it's done. Can you quickly mop that up and then come back here and do it? Whoops, I accidentally sold it to a collector. How am I supposed to sell it in a store? So what is rebate day? Buy something. Well, what do these guys need? Well, they, they need a lot, obviously. Why don't we treat them? I mean, firstly, look at these new items. Let's get some holiday mason jars. How much is it? 30 bucks. That's not bad. Look at that, we splurged. Wait, why not do these 500 simoleons to complete this tradition. Oh, <laughs> forget rebate though. I ain't doing it. Not one bit. So, Santa's fast asleep. She is miserable but painting this great picture which Santa will be super happy to see when it's in the morning. Oh, Mrs. Claus. Great picture. Today's mail has been delivered. Oh, $178 bills. Where is our pay bills? The rebate check of $3 has been received. Yay, we saved three bucks. Please put, in the in please put it in your inventory. Seriously, no, get out of here. Can you come craft a toilet, please? And can you, could you please stop being so miserable? Nice, everyone's happy. Santa is making woodworking. She is doing painting. What do I want you to do after this? Oh, I want you to go and not sleep. I don't know why I wanted you to sleep. We'll just focus on painting for now. Oh my god, did you guys see the toilet he just made? We can't sell that. We'll have to put this in our house and sell a really nice toilet because Santa was not in the mood today. Oh Santa, go and take a shower please. And then play a game, play another game, play another game, play one more game, and go to sleep. And she's too miserable from having no one to talk to. Call the sadness hotline for me and complain to them about your problems. I'm really sad because the love of my life is porno and I'm actually not okay with that. We have no money. No, no, we'll have to sell a chair. I mean, I guess she could go open the store. Yeah, why not? Let's go and you can open the store. Oh, no items for sale. <laughs> we need some of those. Our store is now open. Oh wait, no, it's not. Our store is now open. And I'm trying to get her fed up desperately. Okay, it's time to stop. And she's a customer. Ugh. So over, celebrity customers. Thanks, Jeffrey, for coming along. Close the deal. We are so confident. Penny, you're here for my store? There's not much here that interests me in sales stuff. I haven't exactly been accommodating. I'll take my business elsewhere. That was not a good idea. We just lost Penny as a customer. Yep, and now she's going to loiter. Retail, ask about his price range. What are you wanting to do, Penny? You wanted to say goodbye? Just leave. No one cares about you. Ask about his price range. And then we'll just be like, hi. Oh, she was here last night. Probably continuing. Greet her. We'll see if the celebrity buys something on her own. I know you can afford everything in my store. Well, and we'll ask a celebrity for her autograph because I don't know how else to communicate with her. Ask about her price range. So, anything here tickling your fancy? And my own customer said no. You know what? Celebrities are so dumb. They shouldn't be able to come into your store. You can't really talk to them at all. Retail options should still be available. Yes. Ring up customer. Hello, can I interest you in one of my mini chairs? Not the artwork at the back, huh? Yep, just as I suspected. Oh my god, don't beg her for a sale. No, 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 that's a, that's a terrible idea. Mysticals will kill you. You should just go and answer a question. And we should really get him over here. Can you come over here and greet this customer? And you can ring customer up. Yeah, stop that conversation. 
and go and start the conversation. And then you can actually head home because I don't need you here, Mrs. Claus. You're falling apart. Unlike Kim, who is identical. Please tell me she's buying that overly priced picture. $406. That's awesome. I can't do anything with you. Oh my god. Begging for a sale. <laughs> please. Please buy something. I don't know how that went at all. Are we still begging him for a sale? I have no idea. Well, he didn't buy anything, so I guess it didn't work. Could you just buy something, Holly, and leave my store? Oh, their moods are so low. Oh, could you care for yourself, please? Get yourself in a good mood. Discuss shopping preferences with him? Oh my god, she's buying from me? Wouldn't surprise me if I couldn't ring my customer up. You just gonna ring her up? She's gonna spend a fortune on a toilet? Wow, this paparazzi here. Shh. Holly buys a toilet. Holds the news. Yep, customer. I was only a $137 one. You're back here to buy more already? You really like our store. How much would it cost to even? Restock for $325. It's a $100 painter. What a ripoff. We will not be restocking anything. Um, let's close. Oh, you made another $1,000. Oh, and we have no employees, so we own no wages. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, yeah. Let's map it up and head home. All right, run off in peace, Santa. We're doing good, guys. We've got a really good store going. I mean, admittedly, the store's our life. Now, how are you feeling? Yeah. So, they're just gonna head off to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. And they are awake. So, I mean, the house is disgusting right now. We come to spend some quality time with your significant other while he focuses on his woodworking. Yay, he's finished the bathtub. Not wrong person. I want you to go get some leftovers. Then you can craft some sculptures. No, sculptures are just going to get us... No, oh, we can now do wall hangings. Craft furniture, craft a wall hanging. And would you please still not be able to do anything? Because that's so helpful. Suzanne, you really need to get over it. You need to start having some fun while painting because you're driving me literally nuts. So could you please come over here and do a large abstract painting? Because Santa can't do all of this by himself and you're supposed to be a unit. Even though I know you resent him now. So that's really great for your marriage and really great for Santa's self-esteem while he tries to do the right thing. Okay, he's decent to make this work. So we're gonna go open up the shop in just a tick once this painting is done and this is done. We'll have four items to sell and I mean that's enough isn't it? Actually we could get her painting there. Could you take a shower after you finish that painting? I'm hoping maybe he won't be completely finished with this yet so we'll be able to... Oh no we're doing late night shopping again on a Tuesday night. It's already Tuesday? Oh guys. Guys, this is, this is just too fast for me. Well, let's travel to the store. And let's open up our shop. Finally, I'm in business. Oh, I didn't bring your art thing with me. Well, this is a good chance for you to get your fun up. Why don't we try getting the sign that we can get in perk points? Oh wait, we can get even more stuff now. An employee? The store supplied order too much inventory and they're temporarily reducing prices to spare clear space. Be reduced for 12 hours. No, it's really not worth it. Except for the stunning sign. Let's do it. I'm assuming that was the sign. Why did I spend $750 on a sign? Can you come and greet your customer? And you are also working today. So could you come greet the goth kid? Socializer. Well, greet him anyway. Um, answer questions for her. Ah, uh, so, hi guys. So you've noticed you're over here looking at a painting I did. I do a couple of paintings, um, a day. So yeah, there's always new things here in the store. Suggest some options. So we've got this delightful heart wall hanging this picture my delightful wife made, this chair and this bathtub. Is any of this tickling your fancy? Uh, offer some information. And Emmett, let me answer a question. I'm gonna ignore it until after I've talked to her though, because you're not that important to me. And those up the store go, what do you think of this brand new wool I just put in? Do you like my wool? It's a nice wool. I like my wool. And those about the prices, this store does not mark up at all. And those about store, Discuss shopping preferences. Okay, move on to Cassandra Goth. What choice, what value, I'm good. Good, can you stop being part of this conversation please and ring the customer up? Well yes, everything here is sim made. None of it is manufactured. It's all made by May. I even chopped down the wood myself. Oh, she's purchased the two hearts, nice. You can come focus back on this dude. You're doing Emmett. 
is Santa's focusing on Cassandra. If those about the store to her, be like, what do you think of my store? Okay, focus more on Emma, close the deal. Just try it. He's actually close to the top now. Offer some information. Ask about her price range. Nope, that did not work. In fact, that made him less likely to buy from us. You'll take over with Cassandra. Come and answer her questions. Now you need to take over with him. So ask you about the price range. True sort of value, I'm cool to buy. Well, that's exactly what she's here for. She's gonna come and ring you up. You said something embarrassing. Yeah, Emmett's really not that uh, interested in this store. I think he was just bored on a Wednesday afternoon. Oh, Wednesday morning. It's 12 a.m. I tried, it's late night shopping here. Uh, what else can we do for him? Discuss shopping preferences. Emmett's a bookworm. Excellent. Did you ring him up though? Oh, there we go. She's off to buy the painting now. I used to spend $420 on that. Emmett's really not a fan of either of you. If you just focus on him, Emmett's not working. Could someone new please come into our shop? Not interested in him. You can talk about the warm temperatures with him. Just be really casual, ask about his career. I've already made two sales coming at a thousand bucks. Oh, Penny's just come in. Answer questions to her. Forget Emmett. Endorse products. I want you to stop chatting. I want you to get the sale done. Then we only need, oh, close the deal, he's confident. Can you take over with Penny, please? Excellent. Bring up customer, please. Ask about price range. There's not much here that really interests me. Oh, so I'm gonna leave this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you are enjoying this Let's Play. If you've got any ideas, leave it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay toasty, bye.